You're from Iraq, right? I am. Could you see a bus boys and poets in Iraq today? Oh, uh, that's something yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, I think eventually. And tell me why or why not? You know. I think I think I think eventually. I think there there you know Iraq went through a lot of turmoil since my family left there. Certainly, lots of angst, dictatorships, and wars, and other things. Sure. And this latest war really devastated the country yeah. in a horrific way. All of my relatives. Uh, basically, I've moved out of the country. Anyone is able to. The only ones that are left are the elderly that can't move out, really have mm. no place to go. Uh, so they've stayed. Uh, eventually, you know, over time, you know, decades, maybe even, uh, I think the country will start to level off. And hopefully there'll be um, an opportunity for a place like this where people come and express their opinions and ideas and freely. Yeah. Uh, I think until oil is uh, out of the picture, I don't think that's going to happen. I think... Uh, imperialist uh, uh, sure. minds are going to want to have control over that. And the easiest way to control such places is through dictatorships and uh, things that aren't best for the people, but best for the, the, for, for, for the corporations for who the have corporations. vested interest yeah. Yeah. in the oil.